what did you see the, as the difference down the stretch there? They hit some timely shots. I think we did everything. They, our guys did everything we've asked of them to do. Uh, played with poise, played with pace. Uh, did not get discouraged when they went out, got a lead. Fought back, battled back. Uh, and they made some big time, timely shots down the stretch. Tough shots. And, you know, that's what we talked about those guys being able to do. But our guys battled. They competed the entire night uh, and didn't get, did not get discouraged. On that turnover near the sidelines by the Clippers bench with about 20 seconds left before Paul George hit the shot, did you consider challenging that there? It was kind of like a 50-50. They... Yes, I did. I did consider challenging it. And then I looked back and realized that we had one timeout left. And if I don't win that challenge, then I don't get my timeout, and then we don't have time to execute an end-of-game play. Uh, now I understand our guys do know certain situations of what we will run there. But if you lose that timeout, you don't give yourself an opportunity to get a shot in the last second. Obviously, games don't come down solely to, to those last couple of minutes. But what did you what did you see on on the last couple of possessions? And then how do you kind of make sure that you're not kind of forcing things or, or committing committing turnovers on on those late possessions? You know, our level of concentration. Uh, I think being able to just make sure we're strong with it at the end of the day. Uh, I think our guys understand how they were going to play the physicality of the game. We got it. We I think we met their physicality again. They hit some some very very tough shots, and that's who they are. And that we have guys that do that. Now we did the same thing. You know, just, they happen to make some down the stretch, in in that late game. Turnovers have been a kind of creeping problem th throughout the year. You know, 17, turno 17 turnovers. Clippers scored a fair amount on that. W what what needs to be cleaned up on? on some of those miscues overall? I just think continue to take what the game gives you, uh, reading where the defense is, uh, guys recognizing you know the spacing in certain situations in certain areas. Uh, now they're a team that is going to go after the ball each and every single time, uh, no matter what. And you know they've they had a couple where they're you know running through bodies in order to get the ball. So just being smart with it, being being more you know intentional in, in our movement. I know you decided to roll with Mo right there in the fourth quarter. Obviously, he put together a great quarter. I think it was like 10 straight to begin, you know, but we didn't see Wendell in the fourth. It's been a rough couple of games for him as of lately on the offensive side. You know, where have you kind of seen his struggles coming from and, you know, where do you want him to fix that moving forward? Well, you got to realize that each one of these games that you're saying he hasn't finished, there's been a group of guys that have had a flow. And, you know, one thing you want to don't want to do in these situations is, is mess up the rhythm and the flow of the guys playing in that situation. You said most scored 10 straight. So as that rhythm was going and we need to score the ball and that group had it going, you stick with the group that's going. And I think our guys do a great job of understanding and encouraging each other for the ones that have it going, that they stay on the floor and keep it, keep us where we're supposed to be. Coach Gil Padilla, Filtro 360. On these last two games has been, uh, you, you really look at it, it's a play of atmosphere. Um, you haven't been able to close the game, but you out play hard, um, definitely be there uh, uh, when, it, when it comes the most. What do you think, um, because when it comes to the playoffs, you would need to have the big plays from the big players. Um, how do you think you can manage that in order to uh, be successful in the playoffs? Well, these g situations and these games are preparing you for that. So understanding how teams are playing you, if they're switching, if they're not switching, if they're in coverages. Uh, and our guys recognize it. Uh, being able to attack the basket the way we want to, getting the looks that we need in these situations, being able to evaluate that in, each la in these last three games is something that we'll continue to do. Coach, how much does this loss in the two previous ones 